Good morning. This is John from the Springs Mennonite Church. Here we are at the end of the second week of January. I hope you've had a good start on this year. And if you have, I hope the rest of it is even better. And I want to end this week with some words from another psalm. Psalm 39. In two verses here, verse 7 and verse 12. It says this, and so, Lord, where do I put my hope? My only hope is in you. And then verse 12, hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cries for help. Don't ignore my tears, for I am your guest, a traveler, passing through as my ancestors were before me. The psalmist starts out by saying, you Lord of my hope. You know, hope is a fleeting thing. Once you lose it, it's really hard to get back. It's hard to understand hopelessness. But when you get it, it kills you. I don't quite understand why we are like that. You know, lots of things don't go right all the time. Well, that doesn't cause me any grief. You know, my, my water bottle didn't open up easily this morning. But I didn't lose any anything over that. I'm not going to lose any sleep tonight. It just didn't work like a plan. I was talking to someone in, in the office today and talked about how, you know, in a church, everything you plan doesn't necessarily work out. Sometimes you have a plan that doesn't come together. But that's okay. And it's okay because my hope is not in my plans. My hope is in God. Now, I don't know about you. What is your hope in? Well, if it's in your own abilities, I got news for you. You're going to eventually run into something that's not going to work. Might take a long time, but you'll get there. You and I are not infinitely powerful. Oh, I can, I can make my dog do what I want him to do. Well, I used to, I don't have a dog anymore, but when I had a dog, I could make my dog do what I wanted to do. When my kids were really small, I could kind of make them do what I wanted them to do. But now that they're grown, <laughs> My influence is waning fast. And the only real ability I have is when and if they ask for help. You see, the psalm here is saying that our help is in God. That's all there is. That's where our hope really ought to be. Then he goes on to say, hear my prayer, O Lord. Well, I could talk a lot about prayer. In fact, I'm going to next week. But for today, I just want to say that there are people who struggle with praying and believing and receiving. But it says, hear my prayers, listen to my cries for help. Don't ignore my tears. I want to tell you something really simple here. When your heart hurts, God hurts. It's really pretty simple. When your heart cries, 
God listened. It may not turn out the way you wanted, but it's not because he wasn't there. He says, don't ignore me. I'm your guest. It says, a traveler passing through. I like that imagery. You and I are just travelers through this world on to the world that never ends. A lot of people don't understand that. Even less people don't live it. I, I like the old African proverb, I don't own the land, but it's mine. It's not mine. I'm just taking care of it for my grandchildren. This notion that whoever I am and whatever I am is not mine to hold on to. I know. I can do a lot of things. Do a lot of things really well. But it's not my gifts and abilities that do it. It's the grace of God that gave me the gifts and abilities. You know, this idea that I'm just passing through is so important to life. I learned a long, long time ago that now some of you may disagree with me, but that's okay. I get the right to have my opinion. I learned a long time ago that the success of a pastor is not really what happens while he or she's there. It's what happens after they leave. You see, my few years here in Springs Mennonite Church are only a few years in the context of a lot. And hopefully, if I do the right kinds of things and, and do what God wants and he honors all that, and my time here will be a few years for many, many, many more to come. What we do affects our lives and those around us and those yet to come. It's called a legacy. And we each have one. And we each leave one. And so <clears throat> when we see this passage, when we realize where it says that, you know, God is my hope, he is the one that I trust, and that he will always be there because I'm just passing through. Life for me on this earth will end like it will for you. As I say many times at funeral, everybody gets to be the guest of honor at their own funeral. It will happen. And I don't mean be morbid or, or negative. I mean, it's just life. You got born? Well, <laughs> you know, the next step's there too. But that's okay. Because we're just passing through. We're born to do what God wants us to do, to pass it on to those around us, and then to leave and leave a legacy of who we were so God can continue to work in the world around us. That's what it's all about. And I hope you understand that. If you don't, well, call. We'll talk about it. If you have any other needs that you can think of that, that we can help with, we'll do whatever we can as fast as we can. To help me. Thanks so much for listening. I wish you the very best over the weekend. I'll be back next week and we'll share a few more thoughts. Thanks for listening. Talk to you later.